Hey guys, it's V here today in the Kindred Kitchen. So today I'm making a pulao, which is basically like an Indian fried rice sort of thing. Hang on, I want to show them all the all the goodness. Spread. Okay. Yeah. So usually I have leftovers in the fridge, whether it's rice, veggies, and I always have spices and stuff. Always ginger, garlic, and I told you guys that I always have some minced garlic with me, always in the fridge. And so here's the setup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a fried rice, an uh, Indian fried rice. And I'm going to have this kind of a sauce that I'm going to make that will go with it. Because usually, you know, um, a lot of Indians, they, they don't tend to eat rice by itself. They need something like a dal to go with it or something. So this is just something on the lighter side that I usually make, you know, when... So you're not doing, like, when we think of fried rice, you think fried in oil, you think egg in it. No, it's, this is completely vegan, completely plant-based, no oil. I'm not using any oil. And I have some leftover brown rice. I didn't put any oil. I do always salt my rice. I put a little bit of salt. You know, if you take takeouts and stuff, they don't have rice and they don't have salt in their rice. And I, I don't know, I feel like rice is bland and it needs some flavor. That's that's my thought. But <laughs> so what what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start on the sauce that I want for to go with this rice, okay? So here I have peanuts. This is about two tablespoons of peanuts. It's about two tablespoons of sesame seeds and Here's some cinnamon. It's it's like a cinnamon stick, but it's just, just you know, a to give it piece. flavor. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toast these, and as it as you know it gets toasted, I'm gonna add the ginger, garlic, and the tomatoes, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So, and poof. So here we have it. We have all the goodness roasting here. While, no, while that so do you have that on a high heat or a medium heat? I or? do because I, I, it's on high right on now. High? I wanna, okay. You don't wanna toast it up. To, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I want it to get it done because I want it to cool so I can blend it up as well. So. Okay. And while while this is cooling, we're gonna head on to our fried rice, and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do the the fried rice, which is called a pulao. You know how a lot of people say rice pilaf. We call it pulao. Pulao. Yeah. See now, now they're roasted. The, the color of the sesame has changed. So I'm going to turn it on low now. I'm going to add my ginger. I'm going to add the tomatoes. And I'm going to add about a little bit of garlic. So you're using a tablespoon measure, right? Yeah. So it's about a tablespoon or so. Yeah. And what I'm going to do to this is I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Just to give it something to cook in? Yeah. Yeah. Was that like a half a cup or a quarter cup? It's about five ounces. So okay. I'm going to add five ounces more. So just over a cup. So, yeah. Eight ounces of a cup. So. Yeah. so you let that... I'm just going to bring this up to a boil and turn it off. And then when this cools, I'm going to blend it. Okay, to make a sauce, yeah. Yeah. And now, I'm, you know, I am going to cook it a little bit after I blend it. So I'm just going to keep this on the side now. And I'm going to start with my rice. So here's my pan. Here's my pan. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add... <laughs> Are you making fun of me? That's not cool. <laughs> That's Tia. She's working in her kitchen. <laughs> I have um, mustard seeds and cumin seeds in here. About how much of each? I would say about a teaspoon or so of each. Okay. I never measure it. I just go according to what looks good. I know, but I, you know, know. Yeah, but since we're making a video. Other I people know. don't know yeah. what it looks should look like, so. Yeah. So I got, I got that going in there and I'm gonna put the lid on because when the mustard starts popping. You don't want it to pop out? I don't want it to pop out and all over my face. 
So when, when I start to hear it pop is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my onions first. And then let the onions mingle with everything and then I'm gonna add the veggies. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, you can see that, or you can hear it. You can hear it. The mustard is popping, so here I go. I put my onion in there. So you don't stir it while it's going. You just put the cover on yeah. it and there wait it till it pops. Yeah. Okay. And now, you know, I'm gonna, you can see some of the veggies sneaked in, but that's yeah. okay, because we're gonna. They'll all be in there eventually. Yeah. So what it I'm looks good, and can I say the seeds and stuff look yeah. just yeah. so pretty in there. Now I'm gonna add the veggies in here. I'm gonna add everything. I work hard on topping them, so. <laughs> <laughs> Got out all your aggression. Yeah, I did. Oh, and you know, oh, that smells so good. And while all this is happening, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the tofu in too, because I you want can really the tofu. smell. Yeah. Once you get something in there, you can really yeah. smell the cumin seeds and the. Yeah. And I want the tofu to get all the flavor, so that's the reason I I tuck them in there with the rest. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to it, cause I want it to cook down. So that's maybe a half a teaspoon? Yeah. And a quarter teaspoon? Half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper. Yeah. And that was one block of tofu? No, it was actually half a block. A half a block of tofu, yeah. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just cover this up and let this cook for a little bit. And then when everything is cooked, I'll come back and show you guys what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, so my sauce, it's cooled down a little bit. And while my veggies are cooking for my rice, I'm gonna go ahead and pulse everything up. So why did you let them sit? Is it to soften up the tomatoes? Yeah, is it to yeah, to soften up everything. Just, just you know. Let it sit and yeah. come together. Yeah. I guess you had cashews in that? No, I had peanuts, peanuts. Okay. and I had sesame seeds, and I had a little bit of cinnamon. That's right, yeah. And, um, I mean, if you don't have cinnamon sticks, you can by all means use cinnamon powder. It would, in fact, that would be much easier. You just wouldn't use nearly as much. You'd yeah. probably use a quarter a of an eighth of a teaspoon yeah, or something. Yeah, Just a little flavor. Yeah. And then I'm just going to blend this up. I'm going to check and see. It looks good enough. Yeah, I think it looks good. I can smell the sesame and everything. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is, good. yeah. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put this. I'm gonna let this boil down a little bit. Just you know, just make it a little more richer. I'm just gonna put this back and let it cook. You know. I'm gonna put it back here and let that cook for a little bit. And just on high? Did you put it on high? Yeah, just high just bring it to a boil yeah, and let it, it roll like boil. boil. Kind of make it a little more thicker than it is. Okay. Just to make it a little more thicker. See, it is thick, but I want it a little more thicker, you know? Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna let that go. And it's on high, so I'm gonna let that happen. And then uh, while that's happening, I am going to come back here to my rice and what I'm going to do is I turned it on high now. I'm going to add garlic. It's about two tablespoons of garlic. I'm going to add some turmeric. That's about a teaspoon? Yeah. And I'm also going to add some cayenne pepper. About a half a teaspoon? Yeah. You can you can by all means up it or down it. Yeah. yeah. Let's see the golden goodness. Yeah. Yeah, that turmeric really gives it a yeah. great color. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put all the rice in here. That looked about like maybe three cups of cooked rice. Uh, it's actually around two cups. Two cups of cooked yeah. rice. Yeah. And I have that in here. I'm gonna mix everything up. 
Like you, uh, when I make a fried rice, I always yeah. just use what I have in my refrigerator. Yeah, it's it's my kinda, leftover yeah. rice. Yeah, and you know, it just it's like you can use leftovers and make a dish out of it. Yeah, yeah. you know, that's that's the idea. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do here is, I think I'm gonna add some more turmeric because I want the rice to have the color too. So that's around another a, half a teaspoon. Yeah. So about a teaspoon and a half total. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna splash some water in it. And just it's, so it mixes. Yeah, just it so it, it mixes, mix. and I want the rice to warm up to become a little softer because yeah. you know when they're in the fridge, if you have leftover rice, it tends to yeah. just harden up a little bit. So you want to add the water so it can cook everything and you know get everything absorb right. Yeah. yeah. Did she say absorb? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Tia, thank you. So even if you don't know what you're talking about, she, she knows. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I had about Are five. those green beans? Yeah, those are, I okay. chopped, chopped them okay, up. Yeah. yeah, what did you think? I thought was? they were peas. Okay, no, they're and green I, beans. I, I really didn't yeah, so look I'm closely, gonna, I guess. It was, it was about five ounces of water and I put all of it in here. Yeah. But you, you can't see the water. See, it's yeah. absorbed. Absorbing. It's absorbing. <laughs> and you can see the brown rice is kind of yellow looks now. Good. Yeah, right? It looks good. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat to medium and let the rice warm up. And maybe even get a little bit of crust on the bottom. And while that's happening, let's check on that. Look at this. Look look at the color. Yeah. And it's really starting to boil yeah. now. So. And see it's thickened up even, you know? So I, I haven't added any spices to that yet, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to add some salt. Like a half a teaspoon, it looked yeah. like. And some pepper. And that was just a pinch of pepper. Yeah. Not because, even a quarter teaspoon. Because yeah. I'm going to add some cayenne to it. Okay. And another quarter teaspoon of yeah. cayenne. And then mix that up. And let it cook a little bit more. I love the color of this. Uh, yeah. Looks good. Yeah. So I'm going to let that boil a little bit more and then have the rice ready and we'll come right back. Guys, so I have the rice ready here. See, look at that. Oh, yeah. It you smells smell so oh, yeah. good, right? Well, so yeah, I can smell it. But. Yeah, <laughs> I'm asking you. <laughs> so here's my finishing touches. I have about half a lemon in here. And that would brighten it up. Yeah, and that, that's mm. the point, that we, we want to brighten it up. And, you know, Indian food, the point of it is that you need something to brighten it up. And that's why we use a lot of tamarind and um, dry mango powder in our cooking. It's because you need something to brighten up the flavors. So I got that, and then I have some cilantro chop. I'd say it's about two tablespoons or so. Yeah. And then I'm just going to put that. That's and then a nice drink. I'm going to toss everything around. Get the lemon. That smells in really good now with that added lemon yeah. in there. Okay, so now and look at that color. Yeah. A spoon right? and this thing. And you know you can replace the tofu for, you can put chickpeas, you can put beans, you know, yeah. whatever, whatever you like. I just add, I had tofu, so that's the reason I just added tofu. And here's the um, the little sauce that we cooked. Look at that. You can see the pieces of cinnamon in there and everything. So here's how I played it. I'm going to put a little bit in the bowl. And then I'm going to put some rice on the plate here. And this is how, how we usually do it. I'm going to take some of this, put it on top. It's going to be hot. It's going to be really hot. And then you just eat the bite, just like that. So, guys, I want to tell you, try this out. It's really good. Although I haven't taken a bite yet. I'm telling you, it's good because I made it several times. <laughs> Tia yeah, is back there laughing at me. Anyways, um, try the recipe out. Hit, hit like, hit subscribe. 
click the bell button comment down below do what you do on youtube guys and be a kindred vegan pans behind the camera bye guys and um <laughs> check us out on facebook on instagram try this recipe out and let me know how you liked it we'll see you next time bye guys merry christmas <laughs>